Now the rectus spiny, as it as it sounds, uh, erectus spiny. It's a big long muscle. It goes all the way from basically down on the, the sacrum here, all the way up into the base of your skull. Okay. Now what I'm not discussing here is fascia. Fascia links a lot of muscles together, like the hamstring into the lower, into the butt, into the lower back, and so on. But we're just segmenting it here for purposes of uh, conventional stretching. So all this, and there's different sections to this uh, erector spiny, but it's the, it is the big guy that you can see on either side of people's spines. Um, very easy to pick up. Now, to lengthen that, it's not, a too, it's not difficult. This is one where I do it a little bit different with all the other stretches I've said, do 15, 20 seconds, have a break, 15, 20 seconds, have a break, 15, 20 seconds. This one I prefer to do as a little bit more of a longer, uh, longer stretch where you can do some slow, breathe, uh, slow deep breathing and work your way into the stretch. Okay, so to get length through your spine, do this one from behind here. I'm going to get my, I'm going to do my right side, so I'm going to grab my right elbow. I'm side bending over to the left, as far as I can go, and staying left, keeping my legs straight, I bend from my hips, and right there is where I start getting a stretch into my lower back there, okay? So, let's do that again. Arms up above your head, grab your right elbow, side bend left, so I'm really getting a stretch through the um, right side, then from there, I'm just slow, deep breathing and moving, and that's perfect when my stretch is there. Now, this is where I just focus for the next minute or so on some slow, deep breathing. And make sure your feet are comfortable, having that shoulder width a little bit further apart. And every time you exhale, drop down, drop down, drop down. And that's pretty much it. Now, let's say you hold on to that for a minute or so. You can do it for two minutes if you like. The problem is that when people have a really bad back, if you go all the way down here and you think, oh crap, how am I going to get back up without doing my back? Really simple, some laws of uh, biomechanics here. Let's say we get all the way down here and you're like, I don't know, what happens if I strain my back on straight up? Come back to the middle, like so. Just hang there for a bit. Bend your knees. And then bring yourself back up, okay? That takes all the strain off of coming up from your lower back takes up, you know, that chance, if your back's not very flexible, of it pinging. Hey, because stretching can still cause its problems, okay? Stretching is not 100% injury proof. It's hopefully going to help avoid a lot of injuries. But, um, yeah, so just take caution with being held in a position for too long. Coming out of it, you should always move out of it quite slowly. Now, 